Hey, what's going on guys? So I know you're probably expecting some type of musical performance or rap music video for a setup tour, but that's not going to happen in this video, but it is going to happen in the near future. So if you don't want to miss that, it's going to be really, really awesome. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe. In this video, I'm going to give you my budget, but not so budget gaming setup. And instead of getting into the details about pricing and where you can pick this stuff up, you can find all that in the description of this video. That's going to save some time. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the heart and soul of the setup. This is the Hisense H9D Plus. I went with this because it's under $1,000. It's a 65 inch TV. It has 4K resolution and HDR support. And really there's not too much to complain about. I did a dedicated video on it. So if you want to see that video, click on the card at the top of this video and it will take you over there. But honestly, coming out of the box, it doesn't have the greatest image, but once you tweak the settings, you can really make the image pop and it gives you a nice viewing experience. And when you pair it up with my consoles, the gaming and movie watching experience is just really good, especially for under $1,000. So bouncing over here to the left of the TV, we probably have the most inexpensive gaming console of the bunch, and that is the Nvidia Shield TV. Now this is running Android TV, so it has all of your streaming apps like Netflix and Hulu and all that, but it also has the ability to stream games if you're using a PC with an Nvidia GPU. So really you could play you know, high performance PC games on a TV this big, on a console that small, and that's pretty sweet. Now me personally, I'm pretty much playing some Android games as well as doing all my movie streaming, whether it's from Netflix or Plex. Now Plex isn't new to the channel, but I've really taken an interest in building my Plex library as of recent, whether it's some old classic movies or some newer movies, or even adding podcasts. Podcasts are new or is new to Plex, and it's a really awesome feature that you get with Plex Pass, so that way you can add your podcast into your account and then access it anywhere. So if you're not a Plex Pass member, you definitely need to check it out and possibly become one. Now I do have a couple free Plex Pass memberships to give out. So if you want a Plex Pass membership and you want to get into that giveaway, go ahead and leave a comment down below and like the video and I'll go ahead and pick a winner. All right, so moving on down and getting a little bit more expensive, we have the Xbox One X. I actually just picked this up about two months ago and I'm in love with it. It's decked out in a colorware skin. You can see the red on the front, the yellow on the top, and the dark blue around the bottom. And to me, it does look a little crazy, but um, I'm actually digging it. One thing I really love about the One X is the 4K, 60 frames per second HDR gaming. It's the only console on the market that can do that outside of like PC gaming. And some people just don't want a PC. It is amazing actually what Microsoft has done here. And it is a little bit expensive, you know, coming in at 500 bucks, it's definitely the most expensive console on the market, but Microsoft has made it easier to get your hands on one with their new monthly payment plan, which is staggered out over a two year time frame. And then, you know, after two years in 2020, they're gonna release a new one. So then you just upgrade to the new one. Right below the One X, we have the NES Classic. Now this isn't the original Nintendo, of course, the one that takes the cartridges. This actually has onboard storage. So all of the games come preloaded and you actually are given wired controllers that you'll probably be about this far away from the TV, but you can pick up wireless controllers and I'll leave links to the ones that I use in the description of this video. But uh, yeah, once you add on the wireless controllers, gaming on this is really fun and it definitely just takes me back to my childhood. So to the right of the TV, kind of hidden out of the way, is my Switch. The Switch is an excellent, probably my favorite gaming console out of all of them, to be honest. It's definitely the most used because of how portable it is. And I just, I love it. I think it's one of the greatest things Nintendo has ever made to be, to be real. And uh, you see it's in the blue. This is not a skin. This is actually custom painted for my dudes over at Colorware and it looks great. Now bouncing down below that, we have the PlayStation 4 Pro. Now, as I said, this is like a budget, not so budget gaming setup. I know that you could probably get away with a PS4 and then an Xbox One S if you truly want to be budget, but the PS4 Pro is awesome, especially when you add on the new God of War. That's pretty much the reason why Sony is Sony is because of their exclusive titles like God of War that just really separate these two consoles. So it's hard to pick one over the other. Now bouncing below that, we have the SNES Classic, which just like the NES has onboard storage and preloaded games. 
and you could use the same wireless controllers that you use for the NES on the SNES, which makes gaming really fun and super retro. So if there's one thing that's lacking on the H9D+, Plus, it's probably the speakers, but then again, for a TV in this price point under a thousand bucks, this is to be expected and I'm okay with that. But if you really wanna step it up, you can get something like this, which is the Sonos Play Bar. So this is my first Sonos product. It's definitely not gonna be my last. The sound quality from this thing is amazing. Basically, it replaces a multi-speaker setup, giving you all of that surround sound from one little bar. And what's really cool is you can pair multiple Sonos products like the Sonos One speakers to this to give you sound in different rooms. Or if you just wanna capture sound from different points of the same room, you could do that as well. Has Alexa support. They're always updating the firmware to add more like newer features to it. And the app is actually super easy to control. I can play music from my iPad, from my Android phone or my iPhone, from a computer or from the TV and the consoles. So of course, all this is sitting on some type of entertainment center and a lot of people go to Ikea to save some money to get like a budget TV stand. Now I went a different approach and I went to Wayfair. I paid like less than 250 bucks for this unit. I don't remember the name of it, so I'll leave it down below, but for less than 250 bucks, you really can't beat this. It's got multiple shelving units, as you see, and it also has some really awesome drawer units. The drawer units are really convenient. The top one is like one long drawer unit, but it's broken into two storage sections. Let me just show you. On the left-hand side, we have my Xbox controllers and then the Shield controller. On the right side, we have the PlayStation controllers, my Switch accessories right up here at the top, and then we have my SNES and NES wireless controllers that I was telling you about, which are by 8-Bit Do, not to be confused with iPhone Do. So in the bottom drawers, on the right-hand side, I have all of my PlayStation games, as you can see, and on the left-hand side, I don't have nothing. But in the future, when I start buying more Xbox games in terms of like physical, tangible games, they will go there. Right now, I'm using Game Pass as well as like downloading some games. Game Pass is pretty sweet though, I can't lie. It's just really convenient. Of course, lighting is key, especially if you're trying to set a mood, whether you're gaming or watching a movie. And for that, I use LifeX bulbs and they are inside this triple lamp setup from Ikea. Ikea has some really jacked up names, so I'm not even about to try to pronounce this. You can find that in the description of this video as well. But I love LifeX bulbs because they get really bright. They're actually the brightest on the market. These are actually huge. These are actually hue bulbs, and the reason why I had to go with hue bulbs for this particular lamp is because LifeX doesn't make this exact type of bulb that I need to fit the socket in this lamp. So, my bad. Regardless though, Hue, LifeX, they're both great bulbs. LifeX definitely are brighter than Hue, and I actually have LifeX in this setup as well, starting with this little floor lamp right here. I love this floor lamp. Again, it's from Ikea. It matches the triple lamp setup as well as another lamp in the setup, which I'll show you in a minute. What's neat about this one is the fact that it has like a diffuse panel on it and you can really do some sweet effects, especially for like B-roll in a video or if you just want to, again, set that mood, you could do so. For wall art, I'm using display posters. I did a dedicated video on these. So again, if you want to check that out, just follow the card at the top. But what makes these unique is the fact that they're made of metal. So if you're big into like helping out the environment and you want to save a tree, Getting metal posters is definitely the way to go. And they actually plant trees every time you purchase a poster from them. So it's kind of like giving back. It's really cool. They are a bit expensive. I think these are like 80 or 90 bucks, but you can get smaller ones for about 50. Again, still pricey, but I think they add a little bit of character to a room. And there's also another unique feature about them. And that's how you can like change them out. Say you didn't want to do like a movie theme and you wanted to go with something a little bit more, I don't know, contemporary. Well, all you gotta do is just pop these off. There's actually magnets that attach to the wall. Whenever you get your new poster, just take it and it just pops right on the wall. I mean, it can't get any easier than that. So the last thing I wanna show you is that other lamp that I mentioned about when I was talking about the floor lamp. This is the other light that matches the whole setup and it's like a reading light. But again, I have a LifeX, hold on. It's LifeX. Well guys, that's my uh, 2018 uh, budget, but not so budget gaming setup. But what do you guys think? Do you guys think that, um, I don't know, do I have a pretty good setup going on or what would you change or what kind of setup do you guys have at the house? I'd love to know, leave it down below in the comment section. Also, let me know what other setup videos do you wanna see? Do you wanna see like my living room setup? Do you wanna see where I sleep? Maybe we can incorporate like a house tour into a music video. 
I don't know. The ideas are running and they're endless in my head right now. They're just running rampant. I, I gotta, I'm gonna have to tone it down. You know what guys, just, just like the video, subscribe for future content. I got too many ideas right now.